She uh, arrived on the scene for the university. Wow, people with a uh, natural performance skill. And uh, she's definitely one to watch. Please put your hands together for Jodie Smith Richardson. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to do a poem that I haven't done for a little while. Uh, I usually get up here and do the same one over and over. I'm going to do um, a poem that I call Suffragettes that um, I wrote in response to a post that was up in the university. And it was a poster trying to encourage other students to get up and register to vote. And the first line read something along the lines of, um, for generations people risked their lives for, for you, um, like the suffer jets not the suffragettes but the suffragettes and I just couldn't stop picturing this aeroplane suffering for us to be able to vote so I call this suffragettes I'm pretty sure it was the suffragettes that risked life and limb to give women the vote not the jumbo jet though I'm sure he's a score to settle somewhere or a grievance to lodge or some taxis to dodge but what do we know we're fed ridiculous lies by the people that spy through our phones and condone the injustice we face based on gender, religion and race, our identity, class systems, caste systems and sexual orientation. Pathetic discrimination for what? World domination. We need to teach tolerance and appreciation, not the cultural excuses that reduce women and children to possessions, owned by people with obsessions. Like Dr King, I have a dream that one day we'll be rid of underage marriage and forced prostitution and genital mutilation. And though we squirm and shiver at the thought of such horror, who else will hear these women before they're silenced forever? Thank you. Yeah.